Laughlin. Um, today we first covered, um, we reviewed your minor skills from last week, and I gave you some tips about them. So I'm going to start with C minor here. First thing is always keep your fingers down with successive notes when you can. So if there's three notes in a row, all three fingers should be down by the end. When you're doing your um, repeated notes, make sure you're using alternate picking. Um, and we talked about pedal tones, so you can start with the octave, and you can start by leaving the pinky up there and moving the scale tone upward. When you're first trying this, you know, double each one. And then try to do the reverse, which is let the top note come down. That's one of the cool things they do. The other thing is exploiting the half step, so half step bends on them. Doing trills on them like and then repeating it. And then you can take these as double stops. Last thing I should do is moving in octaves. Just take a three note scale. Take a five note. Fudge. Something worth thinking about. And then we did the major scale in the same spaces. So start with your middle finger. The pentatonic scale would just go two, four, two, four. Wait, two, four, one, four, one, four. Um, and now you gotta add the third. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, D major, G major, C major. You'll start with your first finger. This is the most comfortable and important one. The best one to practice your pedal tones tricks I gave you in the minors. And then we didn't do this, but with the major, when you get to the second string, go back to the middle finger. You can ignore that one for this week, it's not important. Um, okay, uh, the Muse song, key of B. So just review your chord scale. One, two, three, four, five, six. When you're doing that, say the name of each chord, that's helpful. The progression goes on one, C sharp minor 2, G sharp minor 6, and E4. So that's the major key section. And then the bridge starts to dance around. It uses, uses a major 3, which kind of foreshadows the, the minor key, and it uses the flat 7. So I think it's like a 2, 5, 3, 6, flat 7, 4, flat 7. like a five chord because we're definitively shifting into the key of G minor and it's on so if I analyze this with G sharp as the one I get one five flat six flat three I'm sure he'll go back to the key of B major. So again, the relative minor is based on the sixth degree of the scale. So if this is your B, it's Do, T, La, or 8, 7, 6, the minor fall, which we did with regards to the um, G, going to E minor is the relative minor, or C, A minor is the relative, um, and so forth. Last thing is the triads from the melody. B. G sharp minor, G sharp minor, E. So the melody goes. So I'm, I 
obviously making that very broken and very melodic so that they're not ringing into each other, but there's nothing wrong with going. It makes it sound more like a harmonic statement than a melodic statement. Have fun, dude.